This is the only rare Paleo Pies challenge where I will test my patience and diligence by attempting to reach the following goals in 100 days. Find the missing Parasaurolophus, befriend at least one dino of each species, and get them to be helpers. But I can only bring home rare and ultra rare color variations. And lastly, as a stretch goal, I want to be BFFs with all the NPCs. I have around 50 hours of playtime in this game at the start of this challenge, so I will also mention a bunch of tips and tricks while doing this playthrough. If you want to be notified each time I release an episode, then hit that subscribe button and wish me luck! Time for a new save file with a new character. Here we go, the adventure begins! I'm going to make the same character that I always do just because I wanted to be consistent on my thumbnails and such to make it more yeah just consistent the character that I'm making is close to what I look like in real life I wish there were more hair options but this isn't so bad I mean I sometimes tie my hair up like this and for my clothes we'll go with my usual overalls I love overalls then we'll wear the boots light one all right I think I used a different kind of boots on my other save files, but there we go. As for my name, of course, I'm going to be Mirabel. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad though. Hmm. But this will allow me to easily tell which one is my challenge save file. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. You know what? We're, we're gonna go with this. So this character's name is going to be my rare but my rare bells. I can't even pronounce it. I mean, we usually go with Myra bells, so this time we are my rare bells. And this is going to be our new home. A little rundown, but we can make it work. For your first day at the ranch, you really cannot do a lot of things except to follow the tutorial. So we'll just quickly go through those. Let's go ahead and give Lucky a pet and then give him a treat piece of carrot there you go good boy lucky yeah okay let's follow him over here okay he found a large dream stone and he likes it here okay time for me to get to bed but the way to my rundown house is blocked by some debris so we have to ask lucky for help for this first day you cannot really do anything else but to remove the debris I did get three spring onions from it, so it's good. But I, I cannot ask him to, for example, clear this debris anymore. He's tired. He needs to go to bed. Me too. Oh, I guess my stamina doesn't deplete on this first day. I can't really do anything, so let's just save and head to bed. I would consider this my first official day here in PLU Pines. While trying to figure out Lucky's breakfast, we got a couple of visitors, Marie and Owen and their dinosaurs. Here we found out that Parasaurs or Parasaurolophus is quite a rare species here <laughs> in this island. And here we already have a gist of what Owen's personality is like. He likes to take his time. He is very meticulous. He likes taking down notes and such. While Mary is more of the action oriented type. They admitted th that they've never seen a Parasaur before. And here I am thinking that I'll find other Luckies here in Paleo Pines. Uh oh, I hope you didn't come to Paleo Pines looking for herds of Parasaurolophuses galloping through the hills. Um, well, <laughs> they do admit that the tracks appear here from time to time, so they might be around here somewhere. You are planning to move in, aren't you? Yes. I don't think we are close enough for me to say something like this, so I'll just do a simple yes. Yep. And because I'm going to be their new neighbor, they're going to give me some housewarming gifts. Owen gave me one of his journals and some herbivore food. And Marie here mentions Corlan's randoms in abundance and tells me that I can find more items from Corlan at Pebble Plaza and I should go there next. Owen also tells me that I should meet Marlo. He can fix up this pen and the rest of my ranch. I, I do admit it is a bit of a mess, Owen. But we'll get to it. Okay, we have two new quests. Meet the locals and settling in. The Parasaurolophus puzzle will be a recurring main quest. So we'll focus on the other two first. First things first, let's feed this hungry dino. 
There you go. Since this is my third playthrough, if I recall correctly, I know that I need to clear some space so that I can extend this pen in the future. So I'm I will just clear some debris over here. Oh, lucky leveled up to level two. Okay, I can make a fence all the way over here, I think. So I can make a fence to extend this pen in the future so I can have another dino there or two. Those are all the debris that I'm sure I don't need. So let's save the rest of Lucky Stamina for later. And here we go, our first map, Region Valley. I want to get as much money as possible, so let's start collecting some forageables. This will be helpful for quests, and if I have some extras, I can go ahead and sell those. So let's gather the clovers and these cranberries. So far, I am not seeing any rare or ultra rare dinos over here, or styracosaurus. So let's head on over to Pebble Plaza. I know there's a dreamstone right there, it's... You know what? Let's collect it. <laughs> there are a total of four large dreamstones that you can get early in game without getting any of the dinosaur skills. I did make another video of all the dreamstones you can find in Regent Valley. So if you want to look at that, I will link it down in the description. But over here, we can find one large dreamstones and two small dreamstones. One is over here by the mushroom circle and the other one is to the left of my ranch. But let's gather the cranberries first. Okay, let's quickly go to the hill so we can gather the other dreamstone over there. Okay, here we go. That gives us a total of one large dreamstone and two small ones right here just beside my farm. I can also discover a couple of dandelions here. For this playthrough, I am not going to collect the artifacts like this one right away. I'm or fragments or whatever. I'm going to save those for an episode so we can gather all of those in one episode only or something like that. Just gather them all together because in Pilly Pines, you cannot really see or note which materials you've already obtained and Usually it throws me off, so I'd rather just do it one time so that I don't forget if I've taken a fragment from here or or an artifact from there. This way I can properly note where I've been and where I've not been yet. All right, here we go. We are going. We are meeting Agami now. Three out of six locals, and Granny is gonna introduce me to the neighborhood. However, Lucky is not allowed at Pebble Plaza, so let's leave him here. Here, Agami says that I can buy a couple of items from Pebble... 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 Wood... Pe what? Pebble... For some odd reason, I cannot remember the name of the plaza. Pebble Wood... Pebble Wood? <laughs> it's Pebble Wood, right? I don't know. Anyway, I can buy a lot of stuff here and if I need something else, then I'm out of luck because the path to Dapplewood is blocked. Pebble! It's just Pebble! Oh my god. What am I thinking? Oh, I've been combining Pebble Plaza and Dapplewood in my brain. Anyway, Pebble Plaza is a place for gathering and trade. Granny gave me 250 shells to get me started. And she's giving me a quick tour. I can buy some seeds from her. And some baking goods from Pippin. Who makes poppins? And Corlin here is the best place to buy anything. He's got everything from flowers to fibrous pib dibbers. Whatever that is. And here we have Marlo. I forgot about my name. Marlo, my rare bells just moved into the old ranch in the valley. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you too, Marlo. He's the woodsman. They scare of the trees around here and he can fix my ranch. I got a whole shovel and watering can from War Marlo. Thank you, Marlo. And I got a couple of quests just from that conversation. Agami says she'll stop by my uh, ranch to help me get acquainted on how to use those tools, but we don't need to wait for her. 
And then the other quest for settling in involves buying herbivore food from Corlin and returning to the ranch. Let's buy some herbivore food then. I have 250 shells. I don't want to use all of it here, so let's just buy 10 for now. It's probably not enough, but it's okay. I want to earn as much money as I can early in game, so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pick some quest that I can easily do. I can easily deliver a notebook to Owen, however, we haven't met Pippin yet, so I'm not really keen on taking this quest. By the way, here is how- oh, someone is pushing me. <laughs> here is how bulletin board quests go for Paleo Pines. There are six quests here total, and whenever I get one, it will not replenish until I manage to complete the quest. So for example, if I accept this quest, Agami needs five fiber and I'll get five potato seeds as a reward. If I accept this quest and then immediately give Granny five fiber, if I look at the town board again, we should be able to see a new quest right over here. So it's important to note that this quest will not replenish until you have managed to complete the quest. That's why it's not good to accept quests that you cannot do right away. For now, I think I can do this one, so let's accept the quest. Let's look at my inventory. I am... I don't have enough fiber for it. Okay, my bad. But that's okay. I talked with Agami and I got 10 carrot seeds from her. I have carrots and spring onions right now, so I'm going to go ahead and buy some potato seeds as well. I think five should do it for now. Yeah, let's buy five. I want to keep some shells with me just in case I need to buy food for my dinos. Before going home, I got stopped by Marlo, who wants to help me with my ranch. So, yep, let's go back home. He wants me to find some fence posts lying around here. Okay, I know my inventory is full though, so... Let me just quickly... Wait, I cannot? I cannot put items in my inventory? Well, I don't think I have enough. <laughs> I knew it. I don't think I, I had enough space for it. However, since the game is not allowing me to put stuff on my house right now, I'm just gonna throw this away over here. I can always pick it up after. For now, we'll prioritize the fence posts for the quest okay i found four now he's gonna teach me how to use it it's very easy just take out the fence post and then enter the placement mode and complete the fence there we go let's put a gate to make it a proper pen there we go and Lucky is now happy with his new pen. I've completed the quest settling in. One thing I really wish I knew sooner about this game is that I can actually pick up this pond over here. I usually start my farm in this area, but I don't want to start it there this time. And I can totally do that since I can move the pond. I usually put it there since I want the water supply to be nearby, but I can do this instead. So we're gonna put the f the farm over here. I guess I cannot place it all that <laughs> well yet. Uh, hopefully Lucky has some stamina left. Oh no, they don't. It's okay. I'm just gonna clear this one and then we'll start the farm over here instead. I have made some small plans on how I want my farm to be. So that's what I'm trying to make at this moment. Oh, I cannot clear those debris just yet. Hold on, I didn't realize there was a tree here. I didn't know there was a tree there when I was planning this. Well, we, we can move the farm over here too. This farm lay layout will make more sense once we advance more in the game. But I just want to start it like this now. So I don't get a lot of headache while trying to rearrange the farm. Although it seems that my plans are not that accurate since there's there's a tree over there. And as far as I know, there's nothing I can do in order to remove the trees for now. 
Let's use my journal to learn or to log all the things I planted on my journal. So we've got carrots, potatoes, and the spring onions. There we go. Now I have to water all of this. So let me quickly put the pond over there. Oh, I wonder where we can put it. Okay. Over here works. The game does teach you how you to do all these things, but they teach you that on the second day. I want to plant all the seeds now so I can earn money more quickly. Oh, did I get enough fiber? No, I'm lacking one fiber for the Agami quest. It's okay. Okay, we have watered everything. Now we're going to spend the rest of our time going around the valley. So we can collect some items that we can sell or use for future quests. Another thing that I didn't realize right at the start when I was playing Paleo Pines for the first time is that this one is actually a storage. <laughs> so <laughs> I always run back to my house. So yeah, just remember you can use this one to store items or to get items from your inventory. Okay, now we're gonna go around Regent Valley discovering some fruits and other collectibles except for the artifacts. We're also going to gather the forageables for money and quests. I'm not using lucky stamina because I only well, I only have five. I actually can use it for a little bit just so I can go fast just for a little bit. I am going to be sad if I see a rare dino right now. I don't have the popping quest unlocked yet, so... Oh, there we go. Lucky just ran out of stamina. I have set my playtime day length to standard. I contemplated making it a relaxed day length, but I wanted the extra challenge. <laughs> so here we are. I'm pretty sure I'll regret this in the future. I know that there's going to be a quest for Corlan that needs a lot of clover and dandelion. That's why I'm trying to collect them now. So when the quest comes up, I already have those items ready for completion of the quest. This is a new discovery, Tamabum. I don't usually see this a lot during Triasea season. For the artifacts and fragments and natural places of discovery, I'm going to do it in one video or in a compiled video. But for dreamstones, I'm just going to do it at a random. I have a pretty good idea where the dreamstones are, so I'm just going to do it at a random and hope that I don't forget anything. If you are interested in knowing all of the dreamstone locations in Regent Valley, I have made a video about it before and I'll link that on the description down below. Another large dreamstone here by the Gallimimus area. By the way, if you ever get one of those quests to find an item by the mysterious lake or mysterious pond or something, a lot of people are have been asking about it and you can find the lake right over here near the entrance to Dapplewood. And you just need to check every like bush here and you'll eventually get the item. Let's also get the dreamstone while we're here. There are four large dreamstones that you can get. I only have two right now. One here, one at home. Let's also gather the other dreamstones then. I know there's one near the Dapplewood entrance. Okay. Here it is, hidden behind some bushes. Mm, I also know that there's a small dreamstone over here. Okay, here we go. I can't believe I missed this earlier. <laughs> I guess I wasn't actively looking for it. Alright, now we can go home. So by the end of first day, I had four large dreamstones and five small ones. Also gathered a bunch of materials, which I'm gonna keep for now. Just in case I need to sell those. So now it's time for bed. The next day, Lucky found my old flute. Instead of using the, inven the inventory, 
to equip my flute i use number two on my keyboard so if you don't know yet if you press one it will open up your journal if you press two it will open up your flute three gets your hole four for shovel and five for your watering can very helpful shortcuts anyway let's equip the flute this is the flute that we're gonna use in order to tame the dinosaurs Granny is now here to insult my music capabilities and she was planning to teach me how to plant some seeds but I already did. And now she gave me additional seeds. 10 additional carrot seeds. Since we have 10 additional seeds, the first thing that I plan to do is to clear the area a little bit more. Let's remove the debris over here so I can extend my farming plot. I want 4x4 four four farming plots and another four by four over here there we go now let's plant all seeds so i've been thinking remember yesterday when i said that i was going to play this game at its normal time or a normal pace well i changed my mind <laughs> just by planting all of this i know that i am going to be spending a lot of time with taking care of my dinos since I plan to collect every single one of them and I need to be taking care of crops since I need to have money to take care of the said dinos and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a rare or ultra rare small dinosaurs right away so I'm not sure if anyone is going to be taking care of my farms so I take it back we are going to be playing this challenge at a relaxed day length <laughs> <laughs> it will also make it more feasible for me to actually complete the NPC quests so that I can be BFFs with everyone. I'm starting to run out of stamina and speaking of that, if I do run out of stamina, I can still continue doing my tasks. However, I will fall down every single time which is quite annoying. There is another way to replenish the stamina. You can sit at any chair, for example, in Pebble Plaza or around the valley, or if you have chairs around your farm, you can sit on a chair and your stamina replenishes. However, it's extremely slow, so I don't really recommend doing it unless you have a lot of spare time. <laughs> there are also some recipes for cooked foods that will boost your stamina a little bit. But we are far from unlocking that. So let's just finish this. Okay, there we go. I have 9 stamina left. I do need 5 fiber, fiber for a gami. I'm also gonna bring my wood since I want to complete some NPC quests. However, I am not going to complete anything that needs stone because I know that Marlo has a quest for me that needs around 30 stones. So I'm gonna save for that first. I think before we accept Owen's quest over here, we need to check if there is a rare or an ultra rare Gallimimus so that the cutscene with Mary won't trigger until we have a rare or an ultra rare one. Oh, it triggered. Okay, after some deliberation, I have decided to continue this quest with Mary because I would be wasting a lot of in-game days without having the knowledge of how to tame dinos if I don't do this now. So what we're gonna do is my original plan. Oh, look at, look at Lucky. <laughs> it looks so derpy. Okay, I'm sorry. I easily get distracted. As I was saying... I'm going to tame a Gallimimus. I can tame dinosaurs for the quest. However, I'm not allowed to keep them. It's just for the quest completion. Okay. Sure. Because it can take an entire month. And I won't be able to see a rare or an ultra rare Gallimimus. That's entirely possible. I actually like the patterns for this one. I wonder why though. Since... All of the NPCs here all have their dinosaurs, but no one knows how to tame them. So, how? How are they able to obtain their dinosaurs to begin with? It's baffling. Okay, the arrow is on the green area now. Let's go and feed it a poppin. 
And there we go. The Gallimimus trust me. And we now have a new friend. We are not going to be naming this dino because we're not going to keep them. So they're just going to be a Gallimimus. I don't want to get attached. Alright, let's log it at the journal. It is a common one. I knew it. Alright, so for this run, I went straight to Mary and I completely ignored Owen. I wonder what would happen with Owen. He's just there standing by the bridge. I'm now curious, so I'm gonna go to Owen. I think I accidentally used my stamina, by the way. I don't really plan on using stamina. <laughs> that is a rare Styracosaurus over there. I think we can... Oh, Owen is just gone. Oh, he went back home. All right. So if we can now tame dinos, we can tame that Styracosaurus. Oh, that is so lucky. And I guess that small one. I'm not sure if this is a rare or an ultra rare Sitakosaurus. Let's let's just check. Oh wow, I cannot see. <laughs> I cannot see. Mm. I think this one came first, then yellow, then purple. <laughs> okay, that was a lucky guess. I'm going to log this one on my journal and see how rare the color is maybe just an uncommon one oh yeah it is just an uncommon one i really need to learn which are the rare ones for this challenge let's go ahead and meet pippin here we finally meet pippin the one who makes poppins the treats that we need to befriend the dinosaurs a cake for me will always be moist i love moist cakes <laughs> Okay, right now he doesn't sell anything but a crunchy poppin and a pippin rice. So for the other recipes to get unlocked, I need to try and feed a crunchy poppin to the Syracosaurus. Oh, Corlan luckily sells this one. Carrots. I need it for pippin's quest for the juicy poppin. Let me buy it now. So apparently I have a quest from Marlo. He needs 10 stones. Okay, this is what we've been saving the 10 stones for. That's easy. That's just... Oh, I didn't bring it with me though. That was dumb. Okay, we're gonna complete our first quest with Grandma Agami. I got 5 potato seeds from that. Oh, my farm plot is getting bigger. Next, let's accept some quests from the NPCs. I'm going to accept this one from Pippin and delivery should be easy as well. Potato, I don't have any potatoes. Cranberries, I have cranberries. I've collected some. All right. I'm extremely lucky to have that rare Styracosaurus just on my second day, by the way. Oh. Hi, Mary. Hey, stranger. Okay, Mary is talking about my parasaur, Lucky. And she's asking me what's Lucky's favorite food. This is a trick question. Everyone knows that Lucky likes beetroot. <laughs> I have five. <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping those beetroots because I won't be able to get the seeds until later. <laughs> Not Mary testing my friendship with Lucky. Lucky's my best friend. I know what his favorite food is. Surely. Okay, before we go back to Pebble Plaza, let us try and give a crunchy poppin to the Styracosaurus. That will trigger the cutscene with Pippin that would allow you to get different flavors of poppin. So if you're wondering where to get another kind of poppin, just do this. We're Lucky too. I really like this color. Okay, let's feed it some cranberries. I don't feel comfortable enough to give it a pop-in while the arrow is still on the light green portion because there's a 50-50% chance here. We want the arrow here on the dark green portion. We can waste our cranberries. We can pick up a lot of this. Okay. Now we befriend it, even though it doesn't like it's this poppin. <laughs> oh, putting it on the dark green portion didn't make sense now. <laughs> oh well. Maybe a different flavor of poppin would help. Styracosaurus sure are stubborn. Now let's go ahead and complain to Pippin. 
Baby and your puppets are not doing the trick. Oh, by the way, the Gallimimus is still following me. We have to let it go. <laughs> okay, Pipin. You cannot tempt me with crunchy poppins this time. Well, there's nothing wrong with your poppins, but I just want another flavor. Uh-huh. To change the recipe would be to laugh in the face of tradition and family values. Hey, hey, hey. It's always nice to experiment with some changes. Juicy. Let's get some juicy poppins. All right, I've got some over here. <laughs> Good thing Corlan sells carrot on the second day. That was also extremely lucky of me. Yes, there we go. Let's mix things up a little. For Marlo, he needs 10 stones, so let's give him the 10 stones. Yep. Which reminds me, take this. Okay. Giving him the stones gives us some fences. Alright. Hey, Gali. Yeah, I feel bad, but you don't belong in my challenge. So, goodbye to you. Yep. Oh, it shook its head. It's like, nope. <laughs> but off it goes. Bye. Now, where are the Sitakosaurus? Okay, here it is. Let's try and soothe this one again. Yes, I'm stubborn. I'm sorry. Oh, now it's being stubborn. Okay, you know what? See you later. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's do that again. It got stuck. Okay, let's wait for this cutscene to finish. Sometimes we need patience, my rare bells. Okay, we studied the Stachosaurus for Owen. Now, let's go and find him. We have a couple of quests related to him too. But first, let's get our first rare dino. Let's go. Hello. I already know what I'm gonna name you. Because I am just so happy that I found you on my second day. Like, what are the chances? <laughs> I have been blessed by the RNGs. Okay, now we have a juicy poppin waiting for it. Let's make sure the arrow is on the green portion first. Okay, finally, we are starting to run out of cranberries and I just realized I could have used clovers. <laughs> anyway, here you go. Yay! I'm so happy. And since you made me so happy today, we are going to name you Ligaya. For those of you who don't know, I am from the Philippines. So my native language is Tagalog. Ligaya is the Tagalog term for joy. So there we go. The name is Ligaya. Oh yeah, and Mary are impressed. I mean, I am too. I got a rare one. <laughs> Owen wants to go straight to the library while Mary wants to go out to the field more. <laughs> I really find this pair interesting. Good dino, Ligaya. Let's log you on my journal. I wanted to make sure that it's a rare dino before we take it home. Yes, it's a rare sunset dino. I wanted to name it... The Tagalog term for lucky, but doesn't seem fitting for a name. The Tagalog for lucky is suerte. Yeah, it just feels weird for me personally to name a dino suerte. What do you think though? Should I have named the Styracosaurus suerte? No, I think Ligaya is better. Wait, Owen? I should have a quest with you. Hmm, that's weird. Anyway. I don't mind the mess. I don't see any mess, to be honest. <laughs> no plans yet. <laughs> Owen was busy writing down something about the Werehosaurus di diet. I'd love to read your work sometime. I do think that Owen's work is important and Mary's work is equally as important. Say, just thinking out loud here, but I believe the mystery of the Parasaurolophus might just be a brilliant climax. 
If reference books had climaxes, that is, well, I think they do. Fear not, Lucky surely isn't the only pairs or all of those out there. Even though all evidence points to the contrary. Oh dear, never fear, I have just a snack that will brighten her up. How about the mango? I've never given her a mango before and I'm not going to give her the mango. <laughs> Owen suggests that I ask Granny about parasaurs because she's lived here the longest. You don't know how badly I want to use Lucky's sprint right now, but I'm saving Lucky's stamina so that we can clear more debris on the farm. Let's expand this pen. I actually don't know how much space the Styracosaurus and Lucky needs, but... Let's just make sure they have enough so that the Styracosaurus can become a helper quickly. To know how large a pen is, you can just use your journal here. I have a 109 square meter wrench biome over here. And a Styracosaurus only needs 25 square meters. I don't really know how much Lucky needs, but... They should be happy, just the two of them. The Styracosaurus would want more pen mates though since they're a herd dino. They prefer to have three or more dinosaurs inside their pens. So we would have to attempt <laughs> to find another dino today. I doubt that I can because... Oh, I actually have 365. I can buy poppins if need be and I also have this. Okay. We can only get juicy or crunchy dinos though. Okay, so with our available poppins and the available areas, I can try to see if my Postosuchus, Silophysis, or Cetacosaurus have rare or ultra rare. Since we know that the Cetacosaurus don't, doesn't have ultra rare or rare, let's go ahead and look at Silophysis and Postosuchus. They both like juicy poppins, so let's take all of this. Let us put a dreamstone though for the Styracosaurus here. I'm gonna place it here and I'm actually gonna move this one. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm going out again. You better follow me, Gaia. Let's go. Wait, Pippin has a character quest with me? I'm a little disappointed with this batch of poppins. It just isn't my best work. They just don't have that signature oniony spark that all good desserts should have. I'm not sure where Coraline gets his onions, but is there any chance you could bring some of yours? Well, sure. 10 homegrown spring onions for Pippin. Alright. We can do the Lost Lucky Trinket quest too since it just involves finding it around here and there's only a few places where you can find the trinkets actually nagami has another type of quest for me too how are you sleeping on your new ranch kiddo i gotta say mary could invest in some cozier bed sheets i'm missing my home comforts <laughs> the sooner the path to double wood gets cleared the better you and lucky seem like the exploring type you'd love double wood any pairs or all of us out there I can't say we've ever seen one myself, but my family have lived in the area for generations. Who knows? Might be something lying around the house that could help your search. Can't know for sure until the path is clear though. I currently have 495 shells. I don't want to increase my seeds too much until I get waterers or water dinos. So let's not buy anything for now. All right, the lost trinket is here. And that is a quest completed with Marlo. I can replenish Lucky's stamina by feeding it a poppin, but I'm not sure we can afford to give him a poppin right now. <laughs> okay, those are normal stilophyses. I know it. Uh, there are some dandelions and a pear over there though. Oh, I cannot access the pear. Well, let's just get the dandelions and stare at the... We're Hosaurus that we sadly cannot access just yet. Hello, hello common We're Hosaurus friends. For Pippin's quest for the spring onion, I wonder if a store-bought spring onion from Coraline can do the trick. I know Pippin specifically said it, it should be homegrown, but can he really know? Just so I can advance his character quest right away. I mean, I might not have enough money for it, but still, tempted to try. <laughs> we reached the common Postosuchus. Never mind. 
Harlan is not selling any spring onion. Hmm. We can buy some pippins though. I'm just gonna buy two crunchy poppins. Wait, we already had some crunchy poppins. Oh, that was a waste. Well, <laughs> oh boy. Now we really need to feed it to Lucky. We want Lucky's level to level up as fast as we can. So maybe I should feed it to Lucky now and then ask them to clear the rest of the farm debris that I can that I can for now. All right, Lucky, have some crunchy poppins. Wait, what? The stamina only increased by that much? Hold on, I should have saved before doing that. I thought it replenishes the whole bar. Wait, what if I give it a, a juicy poppin? How about the juicy one, Lucky? You like this one? Oh, it likes the juicy poppin! I bought the wrong poppin. <laughs> okay, now we know. Lucky likes juicy. So if you feed a dino a different flavor the popping compared to what it likes it will just replenish the stamina bar by just a little bit that was so annoying okay let's clear this orange or this pen dinos do appreciate if their pen is not cluttered oh however we cannot remove the logs the bushes and the other things for now oh but that got lucky to level five it's okay it's worth it uh i'm just gonna try and believe it it's worth it <laughs> i do think i want to fill the rest of the farm plants over there and i have some seeds if i recall correctly okay here we go five potato seeds okay and then let's make sure that the styracosaurus or ligaya let's start calling it ligaya will love us as quick as possible give it a pet i gave it a cranberry and now we're gonna play its dino tune we did walk it already so let's check what else it needs a pen it needs a pen <laughs> i prepared your dreamstone for you sheesh all right come here this is your home you should be happy now right okay the circle the green circle for ligaya is now full it means that we've done everything that we can today to keep it happy so let's save the other actions for another day we have nothing else to do so we're gonna sleep early this day that's it for this episode i did not expect to get a styracosaurus right away but i'm not complaining I do want to get a galley or a posto so I, I can get someone to help me with the watering since I need a lot of money for this playthrough. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you next time!